All right, so we're gonna go over how to wire your 25 inch grinder. Um, it does come with the wire and the receptacle already attached. Now that we see the wire, we're gonna go into how to wire it into your uh, receptacles that go into the wall or into your generator. Uh, the 25 inch will have a three prong insert that'll hook up right up to the grinder so you don't have to worry about this end. Um, it does come with the pigtail. We're gonna split these wires off and we're gonna wire it into your, your generator plug right now. Uh, most generator plugs will have four prongs sticking out. You'll see an L shape here. That's gonna be your ground wire. Um, and then we're gonna hook the two hot wires directly east and west. We will not use the bottom prong on the generator plug. Um, very easy to hook up. I do have the, uh, the screws un uh, unscrewed right now, make it a little bit easier and faster. So you're gonna take these two out, loosen those up, and this should come off. Then we're gonna loosen the collar so we can slide in our wire. Slide the wires through, and then we're gonna hook up the wires to our generator plug. Like I said, L shape is gonna be our green. We're gonna insert that, tighten it down, and then we're gonna insert the two hot wires on either side. Doesn't matter which one, it's not gonna uh, counterpolarize your machine, it's not gonna make it run in reverse, anything like that. Um, so you can hook either one to either side, but you're gonna do the direct east and the direct west. You're gonna put those in, tighten these up really good, slide your collar back on. If you look, uh, it does have a protrusion that'll line up, slide that right through, tighten these down, and then tighten your collar down. And that's good for your generator plug. So we're gonna take that out, and we're gonna show you how to hook up to a wall plug. There's several different types of wall plugs, um, especially when you get into houses, you're gonna have dryers, and they have different sizes and different uh, prong settings, um, or a stove outlet. Um, all have different pigtails, so you're gonna to have to look at what you have and get different adapters for that. Um, this one is a three prong welder. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna show you how to hook it up. Um, typically, your top is gonna to be your ground, um, other ones have a, a U-shape or a horseshoe shape, that's going to be your ground. Um, so I already have this pre-loosened uh, for the most part. So you're going to take your screwdriver, loosen up the back. Get all these loose. Ooh, I dropped it there. Take that off. We're going to loosen up the collar as well so we can slide the wire right through. Uh, luckily with these, the prongs do, uh, do come out so you can wire it a little bit easier. Um, so for this one, again, your green and uh, yellow is going to go to your ground. So we're going to slide these through. We're going to hook up the green and yellow. Tighten that down really well. And then we're going to take, again with this one, doesn't matter which side it hooks up to left or the right. Um, it can go to either side, it's not going to polarize your machine. So we're going to hook this one up to the left. This is going to be a red or white wire depending on what wire you have. We're going to tighten that down really good, snug it up. Should slide in right there. And then we, on this side we have a blue, but it could be a black wire. Um, so it should be blue or red or white or black. So we're going to put that in there, tighten that up really well. After you get that done, Snug those back down so it's nice and flat. Put your cover back on. Snug everything up really well. Once you do that, get that nice and snug on each screw. Snug up your collar, on the two screws underneath, and you're good to go.